Hello everyone, it's been a uh, couple of weeks now and it's sort of a, it's a good video to an I picked up a really nice coral, picked up a new fish, put, yeah, definitely it's the last fish as well as I'm sort of, you know, it's getting up, yeah, too many fish in this. I will be looking at maybe getting rid of the Springer damsels. But yeah, it's just, it's a good update video and also got a uh, coral lens now as well. So you'll be able to pick up the colours, how I see them, the eye. So yeah, it's going to be a good video. So I'll just start off by saying, to st slowly go into what I've got. So as you can see there, that is a Dragon Soul Torch. And I bought one head of one head of Radical Reefs in Leeds online. That was 100 and I think 150 pounds and I have a 15% discount code. So it came to 140, including shipping. And the best thing about it is it actually sent me two heads. I messaged a guy on Facebook just to make sure I've got the right call. Cause I mean, it was all closed up, couldn't tell. And he said, yeah, just, yeah, two-headed, enjoy. So, couldn't, yeah, couldn't believe it. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Basically, it's got, you know, one head's 150 pounds. It's got literally another one for free. So, crazy, crazy. So, yeah, yeah so, yeah, really ha happy about that. Also got a um, six-line ras. And at first, the spring of damsels were chasing around after it. And looked online, found out if you put a mirror, like this, this, this way, the damsels completely took the attention off the uh, RAS and they focused on the reflection of themselves. Now that's wicked. I mean, it did get its like, tail a bit like bitten, but literally I kept off the mirror up for about two days and yeah, the down see that right now is that she's swimming right next to the damsels and there's no fighting or no aggression going on. And that's, yeah, weird how they just, yeah, don't, don't know, but <laughs> I guess I've never seen a mirror before, but yeah, that's a, uh, that's a cool thing, and I didn't realise they sleep in like a mucus sort of. Like they just wrap themselves in a mucus bubble to protect themselves. I haven't seen it yet, but that's what I read up, and that's quite cool. So I don't actually see him when the lights go out. I don't actually see where the rat is, which is weird. I was, I was actually thinking, oh no, he's jumped out. But yeah, um, I've gone to the tank now. Show you the torch, show you the rat and just a brief uh, overview of it all. But other than that, the tank's going really well. I mean, no problems as of yet. It's been a tiny bit of like hair algae, but oh, I can deal with algae, it's fine. So yeah, let's go on to the video. So here it is here, the um, double-headed dragon soul. Now, I cleaned the glass, but it doesn't look very good. But yeah, from this angle, so colorful. I mean, it's, yeah, to be honest, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it, brightens up the tank so much. I mean, the colours from the bottom is like a bluey purpley colour and towards the top is like a goldy green. Oh, it looks so, yeah, so, so nice. And it's currently sitting on this frag rack, not in a very good position, but it's just where the good flow is at the minute. So I'm keeping it there. But yeah, that's, uh, it does look quality. Nice little like, turquoise blue tips as well. It's, yeah, so, so nice. And then if I can find him, is over here. There we've got the little six line ras, and he's settled in really well. I mean, the first day was horrible for him, just getting picked on. But yeah, he's settled in nicely now, and he's, so, the colours in him are amazing. I mean, hopefully, I mean, I know 20 gallon is like the minimum like tank size for this fish, so obviously, if he does get big, I will, you know, sell him to someone or just hand him back to the fish store but i couldn't really say no to this i saw it and it was like yeah wow really did like it so yeah that's the uh they're the latest pickups really happy of this though that's yeah really really happy two heads as well i <laughs> can't, can't complain and then i was going to this hair algae i've got i mean i think that is green hair algae i've never had it so it's fairly new to me like bits there as you can see then there is quite very long the fish I wanted to get in so yeah that's uh you know it's, it's dealable it's not spreading anywhere I mean it's just mainly staying there I can deal with that it's fine if it gets bad I'll maybe start looking into it and now I've got this you can really pick up the uh colors there's a conch now hope you don't ruin anything but yeah that's the uh blue pie zoas and They've stayed, I bought them at two head, no, three heads, and I think you'll see the little one at the bottom there is growing. But yeah, they're not growing as quick as I would have thought, but the hammer now is 
you see it's starting to definitely split into four heads, which is cool because I only bought it as a two headed uh, hammer. Foxbond's all good, Duncan's looking really healthy. Uh, let's see over there, got the um, Blasto. Getting nice and, yeah, always, always saying every day, but yeah, it's getting nice and chunky, it just keeps growing. And then the bubble coral here. And uh, there is, I think, since I last done a video, I did have to throw away the uh, Digi. Just, it wasn't doing well. And it was just a mission just to keep hold of. But I love SPS so much. I mean, style of Flora is just like amazing. Like, I really do like them, but it's just hard to, um, I don't know, I just struggle with SPS. Like Monty's, I didn't do well. Obviously the Digi didn't do well. And they're like the big, simple calls. So, you know, I just have to stay away from that really. <laughs> it's, it's a bit annoying. And all the calls at the bottom here. So you've got the Gonia which doesn't actually ever come out. I mean, sometimes it does, but oh, it's so, it's so annoying because it's still alive. Maybe I just need to, my target feed it today is so maybe plus. Because I know these like food. And then the Gonia there. And there's actually been another call death as well. Let me find, let me find it. Um, oh, I can't find it anywhere. Basically, the uh, Fabia, the conch uh, snail. It was, it, was, it was up here, wasn't it? And then it fell off from the glue on the flare. The conch snail obviously runs sand all over it. It's buried underneath the sand. And then I found it pop up like here a few days later. And yeah, <laughs> completely dead. Lost it, yeah. It's only ten pound though, so it's not something I'm too worried about. But it's just, yeah, a bit annoying. I don't know why it has stayed glued on for so long and then it just comes off. But, but yeah. So yeah, guys, this is a update. What the tank's looking like now? GSP on the back wall. It's not getting a lot of flow. I do need to change where my wave maker is. It's obviously here. But yeah, that will um, have to change that soon. You turn my bedroom light off. I don't know if it's reflecting. There you go. So much better. But yeah, it's getting a bit of flow. Could do with a bit more. And the hammer call down there, uh, wall hammer, is um yeah, it's doing good. I mean, it doesn't the colours don't really pop, but it is a nice call under the whites. It looks very nice, a like really nice purple colour. Uh, so yeah, guys. Um, and also yeah, all the fish doing fine. It's the uh, watchman Gobi. He loves a new tank layout as well. He's always out. I mean. The last scoby I had was just high, they're so shy, whereas he is just always, always out. And then the pistol shrimp, I haven't seen him since I put him in the tank, so it's a bit annoying. So yeah, um, yeah, maxed out for fish. Then now it's just filling up the tank. I think maybe just letting it grow out. I mean, I do need to add a few calls to the rock work maybe. But yeah, it's just I'm just gonna let it grow out. So yeah, guys. Um, all yeah, all like um, what do you call them? All tank parameters, all like all fine, all good. No worries. Just ten percent water change once a week. I mean, <laughs> it's quite simple, really. I mean, I used to get a bit scared when I first started. Everyone used to say how hard it is, but I really don't think it's too hard. You just have to be prepared to lose a bit of money on things that you buy, and then things die. But that's the only <laughs> that's the only thing about it. But then again, it's really really enjoyable really challenging so yeah guys hope everyone's all well and yeah any questions let me know i've also got this algae Let's see if it picks up this does not come off at all no matter i've got a flipper scraper and it just does not come off so i don't know if there's anything that will make it come off if anyone knows if you got this far in the video let me know in the comments so yeah thank you everyone for watching uh please comment rate, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.